sometimes it can be the smallest comment, that small comment about your body, your weight, you eating too much, your thighs are so big, they're so small, your height, your gap, your face, your nose. Sometimes it's that small comment that stood within you and made you feel like you weren't enough. And I'm here to tell you that you are enough. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you are already part of the tribe. As you may have already noticed, I sound a little stuffy. I'm dealing with some seasonal allergies and ugh, it's a little annoying, but I'm here. I showed up. I wanted to make sure that I did upload a video for you guys this week. So here I am. As you can see by the title, today we're going to talk about insecurities. How to stop being insecure. And this is such a sensitive topic because whether you believe it or not, we all experience some kind of insecurity at some point in our lives. And that includes all those beautiful women that you idolize. And insecurity doesn't take away from your confidence. You can still be confident in who you are, your worth and what you bring to the table, and still have some insecurities. As for myself, I am 5 feet and 10 inches tall, so I'm pretty tall, right? And since I was young, as young as I could remember, I've always been the tallest person. <laughs> to start the tallest person in the room. So I would get bullied and made fun of for being so tall. And that's where I believe my insecurity came from. That's where it came from because, you know, the more you hear something, the more you start to believe it. You start to think that, well, I shouldn't be tall, or why am I so tall, or why I'm not the same as others. Another insecurity that I've had, um, I'm not quite over it, is my gap. Sometimes I'm like, oh, that's nice, that's different, and you just love it because it's just a part of me i just start to really love myself that doesn't mean i would have wanted to maybe close it and get rid of it or whatever but while i still have it i've learned to embrace it i've learned to embrace my gap that doesn't mean i don't catch myself like staring at myself like right now i'm looking at the myself and like it looks cute right but sometimes i'm like mm. If only. However, it has been an insecurity in my life. Something that I wish were to be different, you know? And that goes to show you that you can be confident because I am confident. I am the most confident I have ever been in my whole life. To get to where I am right now, it's taken me a very long time. Therefore, I am so, so happy with myself. I still want to change some things as far as exercising and toning up and things like that. And maybe other things, but I'm still confident in who I am. I understand that any of my insecurities does not take away from me. This is my perception of myself. Although you may see yourself as however you see yourself, that doesn't mean there's no beauty in you because you are beautiful. We just can be our very worst critic. First point I would love to make is for you to figure out where this insecurity comes from. Journaling really helps with this. You sit down and ask yourself these questions. Where is this insecurity coming from right and we may not have one or two or three insecurities we may have a few so focus on each insecurity on its own that way it has your undivided attention and you can really really get to the root of that insecurity ask yourself where did it come from when did you start feeling this insecurity sometimes when we take the time out to realize when you start to feel insecurity, you may realize that it has been embedded within you. It has been projected onto you. Perhaps you never really even 
like myself as an example, maybe I wouldn't have worried about my height had that not happened to me, had it not been thrown in my face that I was tall, was tall, was tall, and be laughed at. Do you know what I mean? So there are people in our lives who are negative, and sometimes they are closer to us than we can ever imagine. There are people close to us who are negative and they project things onto us and the more we hear it the more we believe it. So finding the root of the of your insecurity can help you help you realize that it's not you. That when you were the most vulnerable which was when you were younger or maybe at a time where you were the most vulnerable as an adult that has been projected onto you. Because it's life. People just walk around projecting their own beliefs and their own ideas onto other people. So when you realize that perhaps it's not an actual insecurity of you, but it was because you've heard it so often that you start to believe it. Sometimes it can be the smallest comment. That small comment about your body, your weight, you eating too much. Your thighs are so big, they're so small. Your height, your gap, your face, your nose. Sometimes it's a small comment that stood within you and made you feel like you weren't enough. And I'm here to tell you that you are enough. Don't allow those comments to make you feel any less because you are enough. A big part of not being insecure is accepting who you are accepting that this is how you are this is all of you right this is how you were meant to be now accepting who you are doesn't mean that you cannot want to change or improve something of yourself it simply means that you accept yourself for who you are and understand that you can take measures to improve yourself to make yourself feel better because it doesn't help you to just sit around and think bad about yourself and say bad things about yourself like oh i feel fat or oh i wish i was skinnier or this was to be different or this will look better if i were to be this way instead of you bad mouthing yourself do something about it action action do something to get a different result if you want your hair to grow take the necessary steps that you need to take maybe you can cut your ends trim your hair every so often you can use products that can help you grow your hair you want to lose weight then exercise maybe you can just start by running and things like that find something that would help you and make yourself proud when you do something listen to me when you do something for yourself that will make you feel so proud of yourself so proud of yourself and show you just how capable you are so go out there and do what you need to do to make yourself happy find out what can you do to make yourself feel better about yourself and make yourself proud a change in perspective can help you feel less insecure. How you see yourself, which perspective and angle do you see yourself? Are you seeing the insecurity from a perspective of flaw where you're not enough? Or are you seeing that insecurity from an angle of love, right? So your body, are you seeing it as shameful? Do you feel any less? Or are you seeing it as, hey, this is me. This is exactly who I am, who has been part of me, who will be part of me for the rest of my life. And perhaps instead of me thinking all these negative thoughts, I can think of all the positive things and all the things that I do like about myself. Because that's very important. Are you focusing on the bad in you? Are you focusing on what you don't like about you and <clears throat> putting to the side everything else that you do love about yourself? Remember, all this, all these parts of us that we see as insecurities are also the same thing that makes us different from the rest. 
And yeah, it may be so hard to believe, so hard to agree with, but it's the truth. All of those traits about us sets us apart from others. Remember that your appearance isn't what makes you beautiful. Your inside is what makes you beautiful. When you feel great inside, you start to appreciate all of you, including the outside. Because you realize that it all starts in the mind. So your perspective is really important. Remember that when you ask what is beautiful, it all depends on who you're asking. Again, perspective. Not everyone is going to like you, and that is okay. One way to feel less insecure is to reprogram your mind. Remember that for so many years and for so long, you have been feeling all these bad feelings about yourself. So take this time to reprogram your mind. Recognize when you're having these negative thoughts about yourself and think of positive things about yourself, what you do love about yourself, because there's a lot, there's a lot for you to love about yourself. And if you can't think of it now, think of everything you're grateful for. You're grateful to be able to be watching this video. So you're able to see, you know, your five senses, hear, see, touch, feel, breathe, all of that you should be thankful for. Everything that you can do should be things that you should feel grateful to have and love about yourself. There's so many people who cannot do all of those things. So be sure to reprogram your mind. Be aware of those subconscious thoughts that we can get, that it happens, right? We are human at the end of the day. So pay attention to your thoughts. We are in control of our mind. You are much more in control of your mind than you would ever think. So just be aware because there's a lot of thoughts that go through our mind. Many, many, many thoughts go through our mind every single day. So just be aware of those thoughts. Also, be aware of those thoughts where you find yourself comparing yourself to others. Stop comparing your life to others. Allow other success to be a motivation. Don't allow that to make you feel any bad of yourself. You have no idea how much that person had to work to get to where they're at now. So if you want to get there, my dear, you have to work your little butt off to be able to get to either where they're at or get your own space and be where you want to be. You have to do the work. Comparing your low to someone else's high, it's not healthy. It's not going to help you. So do again, do what you have to do to get to where you want to be. So actively practice positive affirmations. Tell yourself good things. Listen to yourself. Program your mind to think more positively because that's really all our insecurities are full of of negative thoughts. So think more positively and it will help you. Remember to write all of this down, everything you feel inside, and watch yourself progress through time. It doesn't happen overnight. It definitely takes time, but it's totally worth it. That is all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to like it. Actually, like it. Click on that thumbs up and like it. If there's anything you would love to share with me, I'd love to hear from you guys. So comment down below anything you did like, anything you like, or anything you disliked. Whatever you agree or disagree with, go ahead and comment it down below. And if you watch to the very end, then I hope you consider subscribing. I mean, you watch till the end, so you must have liked something. If you like this kind of video, self-love, self-care kind of videos, then subscribe because this channel was created exactly and solely for you. Okay, so I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!